<laughs> it was a simpler time. It was. AMD graphics under Linux just did not work. Things clung to the earth because they loved it, not because of gravity. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux GameCast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I gotta find this button. I don't know where it's at. There it is. Hey, everyone. We Buttons. are back. Episode 405, most definitely found right in your face. I am Vin Stone, joined every week by Darkness himself, Canadian, imprisoning him, Master Swing. And I'm not Charlie I'm Murphy. Staying up late past his bedtime. You know him, you love him. Pedro Mateus, and together with Hello. you at home, watching us live, helping us form the most sexy bit known as Cocaine Voltron. Um, lads, we're still here. It's another week. I, I think yeah. uh, people are allowed to leave their house on occasion. I hear. Sometimes. There are certain, certain stuff's opening up, certain stuff isn't. Everyone's got to keep their distance. Um, and now, now I know what like the ring things that uh, the Jetsons were wearing. They're to like keep people away from them. <laughs> that sounds legit. And I don't know. Uh, I, I've noticed a little bit more traffic, but have you been up to anything new up there? As Canada, is it winter yet? It's not. Oh, it's it's getting hot here. I had to close all the windows and turn on the air conditioning. Oh no! I, I got a I got a lovely email from my building. They're like, yeah, the AC do is set to not kick on unless it's more than fifteen degrees outside. I'm like, fuck you! If I want to live in an ice box, I should be able to live in an ice box. Did you write back to me like, uh, do you know how much I pay? <laughs> you know how much I pay the people I'm renting this right. this condominium from, not right. the yeah, yeah. so. They'll just be like, oh, that's too fucking bad. We're not, we're not taking your money. We're Team taking their Icebox, money. Man. Um, <laughs> Team Icebox, indeed. Pedro, how melty is your scrotum? Uh, let's just say if we weren't, you know, recording right now, this teeny tiny little fan that Haplo got me would be on. Because Ooh. it's amazing. <laughs> okay, so... The what? Crotch fan. I don't know. I, I'm more amused that he's still using, like, a little DD than he does fan. Like, you know they come in bigger sizes, right? No, no. Yeah, we, we, I live in a teeny tiny apartment, and there's no room left on my desk. I would. We, we we need to get him one of those big folding fans so he can like fan himself. Be like, oh, the vapors, the vapors. No, I want to get a manual fan so he can smack the fuck out of him. Oh yeah. Or no, <laughs> no, but no, we need to get from across. No, the we room. we we need to we need to get her like one of those kung fu bladed fans so she can like chop his head off. So uh, uh, something we'll be talking about a little bit later. Uh, it seems like everyone bought us a copy of Code Vein. Um, that Except happened. Jordan. Except for Jordan. And that's that's fine. I'm cool with being excluded. He is. Um, he's happy about it. He did, he got something something he did enjoy. Uh, but I had a chance when I got back to the house this afternoon to try it for like maybe thirty minutes. I spent another thirty minutes trying to make PS4 prompts show up on it till I hit Pedro. Pedro's like, "Don't work. Fine." But the first thirty minutes of this game. By the way, it runs swimmingly under Proton. No issues whatsoever. Just boom, boom. It just runs and. In the first 30 minutes, I had acquired a sword so large it was blocking my view, which I, 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 I bet we're going to... And I looked, and I was like, Pedro's in the game. And I was like, so many hours lost him. <laughs> what, what was going was on? Just I saw, I saw two hours. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the both of you on, in, like, Super Brothers yesterday. What was up with that? Oh, we were uh, helping out. Someone in, in Discord yeah. was asking uh, if that worked, so I downloaded it. It's like, yeah, that launched out of the box. Yeah, yeah I think I think that was Humble Indian <laughs> Bundle like three. The I want to say yeah. it, it had like what was it, Glib that was packaged. Um, ah. uh, uh, Lib STD C plus plus. Yeah, you had to wipe that out, so <laughs> it, it was fixable. It yeah, it if came you're running the Mesa drivers, can't have that. It jumped on the screen. Uh, scream, yes, it jumped on the screen and neighed ferociously. <laughs> that was one of those games that I really wanted to spend more time in, because um, it it it's, has such a distinct visual style. But like nowadays, who has time? You know who has time? No, the horse. What the horse? The, you say the horse because it's dead. It, okay. it doesn't. It doesn't pay rent and doesn't right. have a job. Fine, it just sits there. Okay, decomposes. Uh -huh. The steam. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, he didn't give me that joke. What a what? Stop day. For the first time this evening, I got to press the Internet Explorer 4 button. Excellent. Because <laughs> I'm a child. 
Yes, you are. Well, we, we, we got the top releases of April this yeah, time. Yeah, we do, in, uh, in, We at didn't the have end a of May. whole lot on here, but I did see the uh, Erratus. Yes. Yeah. So what yep. it? Resident Evil 3, that's going to be there. Oh, how? Oh, Blush Blush is on Blush 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 is, One, two, three. Bl yep. bl blush, blush is <laughs> the only game, only other game other than Aratus. I was going to do the time to weeb on that and just right out of the gate, top three. There we are. Yeah, um, it's, 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 it's the only one. I, You know what? I will I will say Streets of Rage 4 gets at least half a shout out because yeah. they did test against Proton. They, did. they mm -hmm. didn't ha They didn't have to do that, but they did. So, you know, good on you guys. I need yeah. to um, scream at the people behind Cloudpunk because that looks like my artist uh, from uh, Tiny and Big did something mm. like that, so eh, we'll see. But yeah, the game we talked about, Aratus, is there, so good. Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> not that busted motorcycle game. Boom. No. <laughs> Ky Ky Chimera Squad, maybe. Even eventually, if if uh, if Feral gets off their butts. Mm. Yeah. And Streets of Rage 4. Oh, yeah, 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 that's kind of like, oh man. But, you know, didn't uh, flip it, and it was like, oh, I'm gonna give me some uh, source code. He, he he was he's like yeah we can I, I think it was also I think Streets of Rage 4 was also using some of the stuff that Flipit developed for Proton it was like the um okay F, F audio integration I think yeah oh yeah, well, we could have been like well you've come this far man come on <laughs> <laughs> give, 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 give me give me that git yeah give me yeah. Give, give, give me them digits oh, I mean uh, at this point I Every uh, FNA game on Steam, instead, um, and XNA game, obviously, instead of running like on XNA and then uh, being run through Proton and then Linux playing it for you, it runs directly in Proton. Proton just goes, "Oh, is that XNA? I speak XNA." Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I have I have these libraries that I ship with. I'm just going to use these. Yeah. But that, that's 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 the beauty of doing drop-in replacement stuff for uh, game implementations. It's a, it's a cool thing that Proton can do. That you know, I think more people should look into like expanding and taking advantage of. I don't know. I'm looking yep. at the stream chat set up just right. So what were we got up next? Up next, up we next, got trading we card have... games. Oh my yes. god, a giant rock no. artifact! It's starting to roll out the uh, beta invites, and I got one. Yay! I did you, the up. Go ahead. You got, you got you got lucky though, right? Because like you you only got that recently. I got that like shortly after release. Here's the real oh, question: oh, What are you doing you? with it? I yeah. Mean, did you buy it? <laughs> yeah, and I didn't refund it. <laughs> Yeah, because because that was the thing. Uh, they're they're handing out the invites to people. They're prioritizing people who bought it at launch. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, I thought I thought you got it from that uh, NHS workers thing or whatever. <clears throat> no, that one I got. It was um. Oh no, you got Magic the Adventure Gathering from time? that. No, I got no? Adventure Time, uh, Pirates uh. of the Ecaridian. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you this week in early onset Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, <laughs> I, listen, man, I don't I don't know his life. What a, what a, it's my job to like document everything that Pedro Mateus does. <laughs> if it was, you're sorry, fired. sweetie, you don't now. pay me enough. <laughs> But no, uh, I did get the invite, and uh, right now they're not handing out the uh, like invites proper because there's still no new beta just yet. But they do say that starting next week, um, probably when you're watching this, that they will be um, pushing out like the new builds, and people will begin testing. So yeah, no, it's I, I opted in because. Yeah, it's like I spent the twenty something pounds on that game, so I might as well try and get something out of it. <laughs> right, and at the at the very least, you can report on it so that we have something to talk about for these segments. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's good. But you know, I, I say it each and every week. They're doing something, though. I mean, there's movement inside yeah. of Valve, other than like the money printing machine. So that's mm. good to see. Other than VR and Proton. Well, Thanks for the you know, when I say that, I do mean it's movement that's public facing as opposed to movement and like, yeah, we're bored with this. Let's just try something else. So, hey, <laughs> we or, can't do that anymore. The, there's like active competition now. <laughs> we, we have some interesting news, like from somebody that one might even consider an arch nemesis of Linux gamers. An unlikely someone for sure, yeah. So, uh, the same developer that paid lip service to the Linux community when he was, uh, 
it, when it was brought to his attention that the thing that he's working on, which was the new Venti cheat, was preventing people from playing Doom Eternal. And not only did they pay said lip service, he also went to Proton's GitHub and said the new Venti cheat will have Proton support out of the box for releases beyond Doom Eternal. Feel free to at me uh, with feedback once you guys have a chance to try it. Uh, I'm happy access is restored for you guys. So, yeah. Uh, Bethesda, well, id, uh, pulled um, the the new Voenti cheat from uh, Doom Eternal, so everyone that was playing it in Proton can go back to playing it just fine. Mm -hmm. But apparently, going forward, according to M. Gressus, or Gressus, or yeah, uh, that will be a thing. The question is... I want to live in a like, universe where he's sitting there, he's watching this tomorrow night, and he's like, no, you know what, he cocked up my name. Fuck all this. <laughs> get get rm linux get dot cpp yep. yeah <laughs> but yeah no uh and i wasn't the only one left with this question because i started reading the comments that were posted after it's like oh, okay so i'm not the only one but is this going to be a workaround that they've implemented in the nouveau anti-cheat that goes oh um uh, you're running it in proton so we're just not going to bother looking for the um the kernel driver or did they actually develop like a proton native? Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Sort of kernel you driver sweet, thingy. You sweet it, summer <laughs> crumpet. Do you remember when I was talking about lip service last week? <laughs> well, so that, that that's the beauty of closed source software. We don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Like, yeah, you guys, we're, we're going to make sure. Don't worry about But this, A, maybe. Okay, if there is any movement on this, this is Valve going, yo. And, you know, Valve's big enough to swing that EP into where. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> just yeah, drop okay. it on the table in front of them it's like the hell <laughs> like, but, but, but Valve's, yeah exactly Valve's like, we're Valve we don't have to make sense fix it um, <laughs> but I do feel like this is yeah everything's going to be fine until the next time it's not Right, and yeah. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, give, having Denuvo natively support Proton gives me, uh, like, it gives me mixed feelings, right? Because, like, we don't know what the fuck it's doing. It's, it's, if you're an idiot, if you run wine as root, so at, at the very least, like, it's not going to do anything to damage your system, I hope. Yeah. Who knows, this right? Like, Hey, one thing I do know is we are legitimately running out of perma early access Linux titles. What do we have left? Do not. If we're we're gonna have to have, have a think about that after the show today, because uh, this one's gone. Golf with your friends. Oh yeah. No point <laughs> release with the escapist course, which we played last night in the uh, foo bar, which was pretty interesting. Uh, this new one, you know, it's got this new map. It's got a bunch of new stuff. Uh, it's got the final point release. This definitely went from this janky, busted, buggy thing to. Something an intentionally added. jank and busted buggy. It, it's got some intentional, but the quality of maps have just skyrocketed. And it's fun, right, Pedro? I mean, I enjoy it. Yeah, it is. Well, we're going to be throwing chairs at it later There's on. There's something but... we didn't know about last <laughs> night. Fucking free cam. <laughs> yeah, no, we did not. <laughs> Because on more than one occasion, it's like, oh, God damn it, the camera's really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> There's a Steam DLC bonus uh, due to lack of pre-orders on PlayStation 4 and Steam. We'll be granting the caddy pack. Okay, that's we got a bunch of like hats and stuff if you've had it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's currently $9.99's evil when it does handstands. I'm down for, uh, you know, I think we can take a look at it this afternoon. I like it so much. Indeed, uh, they are. They are gonna. You might as well buy it now if you're interested, though, because they're gonna bump up the price to 15 bucks US mm -hmm. after the early act or after the point of release sale is done. So, I mean, uh, then that's kind of to be expected. You kind of lowballed. Was that so access. hard, Pedro? <laughs> I didn't remember the syntax. All right, I didn't neither. <laughs> neither, neither, saying, neither, neither did I. I, I for I that one matter. stab on it, and I got lucky, so I'm talking shit. That's all that's yeah. <laughs> RNG, RNG, RNG. All right. Um, okay. Uh, we're not. We're totally done with 1.0 releases. For right, right. Access games. Well, uh, speak, except speak, we're speak. not. <laughs> well, so th this is this is one. Uh, this is one we've been playing a bit in the after show. Uh, Shell Shock Live, which, to my recollection, 
Yeah, we got a. Oh, yeah, no, it has it has a native version mm-hmm. for whatever reason. I thought it was in Proton. For, but anyways, it also has a 1.0. Um, one of the big changes that I think will help us when we decide to play this game is now you can see how your allies are aiming, so that like you're not all like fucking up the angles. Oh, one person I can thought fuck you were going to say can... it's because of the Cayenne weapon tier. I guess there is the cayenne weapon. I don't know the fuck there? it is, but we got it. It's too spicy. It's pepper. Yeah. It's just it's pepper. Too, <laughs> it's, too, it's too spicy for you. Um, but but yeah, uh, these guys hit 1.0 as well, so that's a big congrats to them. Yeah, um, this is a fun little seriously. Game, yeah, <laughs> we're running it, it, out of perma it's early worms. access games what I'll are we going you. to mock next okay <laughs> th- this this game gets extra sweet especially when you have an after show with a bunch of people together in voice chat and you have the one rando that shows up and everyone just starts targeting mm-hmm. that person mm-hmm. <laughs> including his own team members he's like what the fuck guys <laughs> well, no, <man. laughs> ah. oh, good times I, uh, it, fictional story uh, yes. indeed mm-hmm. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we got we got serious Sam for oh, no. okay so uh, so here 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 we here we go um, I'm a, I'm a big serious Sam fan I I really hate three because I love the series and I thought three could be a lot more than it was but um, Crow Team in, in the past has been pretty good about Linux support. Though we get this from their forum now. Uh, someone asked, "Is uh, we, we got the big release trailer. We have the release date of, or we have the release window of August. And someone said, hey, um, the penguin kind of disappeared from your store. What's your store page? What's going on? And I, 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 Danny, I, 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 says, hey, everyone. Sorry for the delay in answering, but I'm sure you can imagine the chaos we've been through in preparation for this. I'll be on point. Sam 4 won't be available natively on Linux at launch. What happens later, we don't know. We're currently focused on Windows and if that changes, we'll let everyone knows. So lots of people are angry about it. I know I, at first at first blush, I was pretty angry about it too, but Crotean has been pretty good to us so far. Um, we know we know pretty much for certain that Sam 4 is going to be using Vulcan as a renderer, so at least it will run fine in Proton. And they have made, like all the Crotean releases and all the Crotean published releases so far have had Linux support eventually. So for now, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'm willing to let them say, hey, we're going to focus on Windows and our our Stadia release because it's a Stadia exclusive. Mm-hmm. P- PS4, Xbox One, Switch. No, you got to wait a year. You got to play that shit on the Stadias. Um, but yeah, like like I said, it sucks. Hopefully, hopefully Crow Team comes through for us. Right now, we have two examples of games that have come out recently that were like, no, they're not going to get a Linux port. And surprise, we got a Linux port. So it's it's been known I'm to happen. I'm going to say this. Here's my problem. It's not necessarily with whether or not Linux is or is not getting a port. It's the messaging by this man. Yeah. By coming in, walking because... in, going, I'm going to finish this sentence, Pedro. I've been quiet. <laughs> walking in, saying, yo, uh... Yeah, you might have noticed, like, right up until, oh, 20 seconds ago, we had Steam listed. Then when we go to pre-orders, poof, it disappears. All right, fine. You know what? Hit your brakes right there. Leave it. Don't go, who knows what happens next? You get, you know what? Go fucking die in a fire, man. I, the only point of that is, what did you do? You just spooled the internet speculation drive. You gave it some new dinopium yeah. crystals and shoved it in there mm-hmm. and lit it up. Like, have fun. We don't know. Now, to Jordan's point. In my heart of hearts, yeah, I know. I mean, in the back of my brain, mates, I'm like, that's going to get a Linux port. You know, you had Sirius Sam Fusion, you had Talos, then you had Sirius Sam 3 being one of the first uh, games on Steam, uh, you know, from Crow Team. And they've been doing Linux that. versions all mm-hmm. the way back to the first one. I don't know. But, you know, then again, they just might need to uh, have some extra time, some development hours in to make sure it works on the uh, Microsoft's Wayland compositor. That's true. The, 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 the other thing that I, I want to bring up too is like, this is, it says developer on Steam, but this is probably their social media manager. This guy doesn't know anything like more than more to my point. The fuck is this dude doing talking? Yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah. he, 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 he shouldn't have kept the, he shouldn't have opened his mouth, but still people, people need to calm their tits, save your ire for when we actually get, yeah, we get, we get the post that says, yeah, the Linux version is canceled as is. I don't know. They're making a Stadia version. It's not. It's not that complicated. 
At least I don't think to get it over well, to Linux. You know, in their defense, I'm sure Google wrote them a fucking check. Oh, I'm I'm yeah. sure that was like a six to like eight figure or ten figure or not ten figure <laughs> six to seven figure check. And like that was in within the first week, or however long it takes from after it launches on Stadia to when it launches on Linux, the first week it's launched for Linux will be more people who have played it on Linux than versus all of the Stadia combined. Yes, probably. Guaranteed. Oh yeah. <laughs> probably. I, that's not a very high bar to cross I, there. I, I, <laughs> realistic goals. They're important. <laughs> Yeah. All right. But yeah. No. It, the the whole post and the way that it was conveyed, it's like, yeah, like Ven said, it was right there until yesterday. So what happened? And then um, nothing else. We just get no. It's not coming at launch, and we don't know what we're going to be doing after that. Yeah, that doesn't really fill me with confidence. Nope. No. <laughs> I, I I like to say one of the one of the best indicators of uh, future behavior is past behavior. So again, we'll see. Again, it's uh, no outrage for protein. Outrage for whoever's <laughs> made that post. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> not it a was good the way to post do it. that was the issue. Right, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> All right, it's a crumbling we, world, though, right? Yeah, we 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 got a new game to talk about. Crumbling one. world. It's like Apple Crumble or Crumbly Crumbly Bumbly. Pedro, it's, what does that it's crumbling Diablo. world text remind you of? That's from a game. That uh, has it the outer, that's fun. the yeah, outer yeah, wilds. Steam World. Oh, okay. Yeah. Steam World? <laughs> I thought it, I thought it reminds me kind of the outer outer worlds outer wild. That one. There mm. there are two that have the exact same freaking name. I don't know. Um but if you if you scroll down to the system requirements, I, I love it because in order to run it, all you need is Linux in your heart. Just just have <laughs> install Linux with a stab a flash drive please, into your chest. Sir, can I have a, and, one Linux, and, please? <laughs> and install Linux. But so it's it's supposed to be like a Diablo style isometric ARPG. Um I do like the style like stylistic uh art design. Um and apparently one one thing that kind of weirded me out, it's five levels with five stages. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but those stages could also be really huge, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, there one 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 thing that makes me very very sad is there's no online multiplayer and hack and slashers like Diablo and Torchlight they just get more fun when you have buddies along to click and do Jeez. the clicky clacks. Mm. Um, but it's available now. It's on sale. You can pick it up for twelve Canadian. So what, like ten US or something? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It, it has the um like either uh, this is my art style or hashtag fuck textures. Uh, instead of yeah. <laughs> the, that's one and the same. You can you can just say hashtag fuck textures. Mm. <laughs> as long as the game plays there, that that that's the important thing with any game like that because you can overlook a lot of stuff. As long as it's got a good mm -hmm. feel to it, you know, even if it looks yeah, good, and if, if the combat it. feels satisfying, and from looking at the trailer, it's like oh, they're doing like when you hit something, it has a bit of a freeze frame. It's like mm -hmm. all right, that usually does a very good job of conveying impact. So maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Coming up next, we got we got a big old elephant in the room. We got to talk about. Oh. And well, we we will get into the news. There's a lot of that um, happening. But first, well, first I'd like to thank and send out a very very special thank you to just about everyone in Oxygen. our audience because you guys were um, top notch this week. Every single one of you. Thank you. <laughs> what, 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 what's this? What's this gesture like? Cocaine. It's magic, man. Glitter. Glitter. Thank you. <laughs> you. You need to learn to fucking dream a little bit, man. Come on. I dream <laughs> too much. And if you want to guest star on one of my dreams, you can support us. You can support the show by heading on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Fans episode. only. At, um... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the new Patreon tier. It's uh, you, I dream about you for fucking $30 a month. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just got to take my word on it. Head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Mouse over, mouse over the support button. There's, there's a lot of stuff for you to click on and give us money. Best way to do that, though, is head on over to uh, Patreon, where... Getting in for as low as a dollar gets you access. A dollar an episode gets you access to our Discord channel. You get your name in the credits. Uh, if you go up a little bit more to two fifty an episode, you get early show note access, uh, and you can also show up for game streams. I'm doing Serious Sam on Thursdays. Ven is occasionally doing Wolfenstein on Fridays. And is that done? too busy not paying attention because we finished that last night. You finished it last night. Yeah. Congratulations. Yep. So like the first what, what, fifteen minutes too. <laughs> Well then, that that explains why you were playing golf. Surprise, surprise! It was awesome. 
Anyway, you also, also becoming a Patreon gets you access to the pre pre super shows and where you can listen to me list all the all the stuff on the Toronto Police Auctions website. It's great. It was an amazing uh, adventure through Laptop Lane, and yeah, we are definitely in our Discord. Uh, I want to point that out. Uh, we participate in our Discord, unlike some people that I might be also be in their Discord as a patron of theirs. I'm like, why don't you guys ever talk to anyone? I'm like, fine, I just live with it. So, I'm not grumpy. I'm I, going mad. <laughs> I, I crave human interaction. <laughs> Please yeah, stop the me. Say I didn't even bring it up. <laughs> Indeed. Um, we got um, we got uh, wish list too. Um, I gotta I gotta give the special tank th- special thanks special to uh, whoop, whoop. special thanks to. Uh, Is that the noise tanks make? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'd uh, run. He, he, I'd run if I heard like whoop whoop and a tank rolled over the. Oh, dude! It's it's the juggalo tank. It's the tankalo. Um. So yeah. Uh. One one one. Is one that thing like you can a jackalope but with more tank? Absolutely. It's like a little rabbit with horns and tank treads. Nice. And when it opens its mouth, shells come out. It's 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 so fucking amazing. I love like it. Like Velveeta, uh, like with extra cheese. Why not? All right. Dep- depends on what you load in your 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 special tanks. So be it. Uh. Right, uh, but you know, buying stuff off our wish lists lets you send us a little messagey here that we got to read on air. I got one from Mike G for this uh, pop filter that is stopping me from making noise while doing this. Bang bang! Uh, and it says, "I'm sure your voice, your real voice, sounds like James Mason. Hopefully, the shock mount will do the trick. Keep up the good work. Love the show, Mick G. Not Mick G, the oh, producer, just Michael oh, G. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we also we got a couple other people we got to thank. Uh, Mr. Fox Dog is back at executive producer level. Uh, Lucid Links is a brand Woo-hoo. new Patreon. Uh, nice. Darkwing is our bra- our latest sea monster. <laughs> and I thought he was a Girl Scout at first, but then I had to look again. Um, and yeah, we got to thank Aldius. He bought us a shit ton of games. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> a bit. Um, all right. I, I, res- I respect all this strategy because um, shaming me into adding stuff to my wish list. Skyrim job showed <laughs> yes. up. I had Skyrim job on like the enhanced edition. I had the original edition. I don't know. Like, it, like it, no, it's like I'll never have time to play this. And all these, like I noticed you would never have time to play this game. Here, damn it, <laughs> D- dangling it in front of you. <laughs> so that showed up. Then later this week. Um, Vegan Vampire Anime Simulator. That one was uh, that one was Kyle Linux, yeah, right? No, Aldi sent me a copy of that because ah. he loves me more. Than <laughs> Kyle Linux also did that, but we'll get to that in the hate mail. <laughs> yeah. It was effectively <laughs> raining vegan anime <laughs> vampires. It's raining vegans. Hallelujah! It's vamps. raining vamps. vamps. Vegan vamps. <laughs> Yeah, and Aldius also sent me a uh, Sundered Enhanced Edition, which it's one of those games that's been on my wish list since like forever, and I can finally play it. Thank you very much, Aldius. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. I there's nothing I appreciate more than just like straight up cruelty and gift giving. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and trust me, you struck home both um, Kyletic uh, and Aldius to my point, but. Man, Pedro, Pedro's gone. That he's not gonna get any work done next week. And when he's working, he's gonna be thinking about playing Codevin. Yeah, he's gonna be thinking about vegan <laughs> vampires instead of <laughs> I don't know vegan health patients. I don't know. I'd be thinking about buying some uh, like super sweet merch. Kai, you thought we oh, were yeah. done plugging, bitch? We weren't. Uh, no, <laughs> you're wrong. We got we got t-shirts. We got coffee mugs. We got stickers. I really like the Lonely Penguin shirt. Yeah, uh, you should buy one or a hoodie if you want to get a mayo hoodie. You could even and get then... a Frank shirt because somebody's bitch ass finally got out of isolation, didn't you? Uh, I so. <laughs> he's still, he's still diseased though. He's one of the bad ones. Go Man. back indoors, Frank. No, don't touch no. people. Wash your hands. <laughs> hey, hey, you hey, filthy hey. skeleton. Just don't don't get him started again, man. I've had enough of this shit. Uh, let's start with some news though. Oh yes. man, AMD is causing a bit of a stir. Radeon Rays, uh, they released 4.0. I still and have that the- Twitter account. Radeon? No, yeah. Radeon. I have Radeon Roy. <laughs> Radeon Roy, yeah, with Sandy. Sandy's picture. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the picture. <laughs> yeah, R- Radeon. Um, yeah, uh, but so uh, they, they announced. Uh, Radeon Rays 2 was open source, but it was CPU limited. Radeon Ray 4 adds support for hardware accelerated ray tracing, and then they closed sourced it, and Yay. our Linux lost their shit because they're a bunch of developers, right? And not just people on Reddit. Yep. But um, 
yeah, there, there's there's all sorts of questions about does AMD truly support open source? Blah blah blah. There's the, there's theorizing in the comments. Oh, they have DirectX 12 support, so they can't open source it because Microsoft won't let them. We'll get to that oh. soon enough. Soon mm. enough, my Here's friend. What I think, Jordan, hear me out. Is that that's always been like one of the interesting arguments uh, to be half serious for a nanosecond. Is like, well, I have CUDA and then it works good and then drivers just work and like, uh, it's faster card, but like, but it's open source. And that was like the hill for that hill yes. to go pff, get dusted. That people do not take that very well. You're like, you're taking away our thing that we used to defend the company that we've like, we love our soulless corporation, you know, they which is completely pointless because the open source AMD drivers still rely on proprietary blobs in the kernel. Right. La, yeah, la, like, la, uh, la, the, la, uh, la, what, 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 well, the, the, the other component that hasn't been open sourced here is, uh, I don't think we've seen an open source version of, um, AMD's CUDA, the heterogeneous compute interface for portability or HIP. Um, it's tragic. It's tragically HIP. Uh, that's not open source as well. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah. You know, they, they're like, yo, parts of this is not going to be open source. Then the internet happened. You're like, okay, you twisted our arm. You know what? Fine. We're, we're, we're going to keep this open source. And, you know, even though they closed source, it was called like uh, whatever open was the URL for the website. Yeah. But open, open GPU.com, I think it was. Then yeah. That, yeah. Th this was just like the warm up flex for the rollback on the um, 450 motherboards. What was it? The 450 series? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah. What? What? Yeah. One, one, one thing, too, about the open sourciness of it is you have to contact AMD for the source code. They're not going to make it public. Yeah, it's source available because, yeah, no. And, the, and you have to do it either dance. through oh, Telegram. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was open source. It was going to be open source. It was totally going to be open source. And then, nope not open source anymore it's uh closed then everyone lost their shit and now it's okay it's mostly open source Listen, now man, and i'm I, i'm, I'm sure guessing what this happened what happened was they had to deal with some shit for ps4 and the xbox x1 x max x1 yeah x. what yeah <laughs> what, what what a lot of people really don't realize is you can't you can't actually just open source code. You have to audit it. You have to make sure mm -hmm. that there's no third party code that's in place. It's yeah. quite a process. It's um, a lot of fucking process. And yeah. as somebody, you know, I've been dealing with this fucking black magic drivers. I've been like, I really wish they were open source. Because mm -hmm. then any problem imaginable, I would be able to head over to fucking GitHub or actually get a, other than playing phone tag with people in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, it, it, it just really chafes my dick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if I had to talk to hobbits all day, I would be quite upset, too. I wouldn't. I would name them. They already have names like not, Bilbo not my problem. And Pippin. Not my and Frodo fucking problem. They got new and names. And Doc. Isn't that right, ass layer? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 whatever, whatever you say, butt ass. Uh, soul for the slayer of words. But, EA but did good. yeah, <laughs> speaking of open source, this is a strange ass universe. Uh, CNC, not a dance factory, but it's been remastered, update, and open source mod support. That's right. We're at EA.com. What the? F uh, yeah, I, I, Jordan, I, I genuinely think EA just accidentally or maybe on purposely did a good, and they even got the open source game developers uh, to like chime in. And yep. this isn't some weird Bizarro Moon license. So like, how about some GPL? Yeah, this, GPL this, this is true. <laughs> uh, it's a GPL release of, uh, was it Command, uh, Command and Conquer DLL, the, or Tiberian Sun DLL and Red Alert DLL or whatever the hell it was. Um, but they're making it fully source available. Apparently they were work, um, for the remaster, they were actually working with some of the open source projects like OpenRA who provide a, uh, drop an engine replacement for the Command and Conquer game files, mm -hmm. um, and this this I mean so here's the thing, EA speaking speaking of AMD, EA is totally pulling an AMD right now. They know oh, yeah. a you still need to buy the game in order to get the assets to play it. B it takes the onus off them for handling uh, cross platform multiplayer and cross platform support. Period by just saying hey Ding. here's our source code just do because like they're not making a ton of money off of Command and Conquer. They're making money off the intellectual property if they decide to release a new Command and Conquer at some point in the future. But this is just, these are two old games from like 1990, whatever. Um, and yeah, uh, they 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 want to make sure that OpenRA and CNCNet are available. Um, 
One thing, one thing uh, they wanted to add was LAN play. They couldn't get that working in time, and they said that's not uh, that's not a big priority considering you have to set up a VPN or something if you want to play like actual LAN parties. Yeah, instance. give it a week. It'll have yeah. full online multiplayer. Um, well, I mean, that, and that's that's what open source is like. Yeah. Op, uh, like uh, open is gonna be like, yo, we got it working. Like, fuck you. That's brilliant, and it's weird to say, yay, EA, you didn't do something completely dumb. I mean, you can you can totally do the right thing for the wrong reasons. <laughs> AMD has been prolific in Jordan, that. Can you just like let a motherfucker dream for a minute? <laughs> no, you have to live in this waking nightmare that we all exist in. Oh man, speaking of waking nightmares, <laughs> well, it's it's actually a game I like very much. It's uh, Jazz Two, Case the open source reimplementation uh, of Jazz Jack Rabbit Two. Schwarzenegger. And- yeah, uh, basically, it's a very small um, little changelog that they have here. What? Like they okay, fix- hang on. You you got to pick one because I'm reading the. It's called Critical Fixes. Yes, <laughs> it's not like it's yeah. A, you might want to. might want to. It's, it's a like- tiny log, but they actually fix most of the uh, issues that when I streamed the game a while back, uh, I mentioned a bunch of the issues that the uh, the current implementation had, but most of those are now fixed and um yeah no uh uh, one of the things they actually fixed one of the bugs that was present in the original game which was uh the player character be it spaz or jazz getting stuck in between two springs and you couldn't do anything about it because you would be stuck in that animation looping it's like oh well okay escape restart the level yeah, no, that 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 that's good. Spaz, spaz and jazz, they 100 percent knew what they were spaz doing. Spaz and jazz, baby. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, Jack, Jack, Jack rabbits. The, well, they were I, busy I mean, not like, having a dirty mind. I mean, I mean, there 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 is a there is a release note here where it says fixed when grabbing the full life restore ca- carrot. Spaz says yummy, which is totally not a euphemism yummy. for anything. Um, oh, but yeah, o- otherwise, suck it, ice cream sandwich. If you're running Android 4.0, what the hell are you doing? Um. <laughs> I don't, man. What about the Amazon Fire? That might be a, a, that might still be running. Pause. Wait. Maybe. 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 But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so uh, one thing we are definitely familiar with on this show da, is something da, we like da. to call the Mateus Touch. You got the touch. Ah, oh, he has the power. You got the power. You know, a as long much as I want to deny, scorched the rumors. earth trail follows behind one man. <laughs> much as I want yeah. to deny the rumors that were started on this very show. Rumors? Seven this years is ago. fucking observations, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, this, this is provable and repeatable. This, this is not so like, oh, I, I think I've established a pattern. I'm like, no, the, the de- trail of desolation goes in like one <laughs> the, straight line, right? There, follow. There, there, there's like straight up a math proof for how long it takes for Pedro to start using an open source project before it dies now. <laughs> yeah, that I'm basically the summer glow of Linux. But, you know, the mounting evidence is starting to make me believe it because open joystick display, you know, that video that... Uh, it was me showing you how to get it yeah. uh, working with OBS. You, it's your own fault. You shouldn't have made a video. <laughs> yeah, this guy, well, this guy watched that video and he's like, nah, man, I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> So apparently the developer uh, has hit a bit of a rough patch IRL and he doesn't have any time or money to support the project right now. So he made all the uh, source available. It's on his uh, GitHub. So you can just clone it. You can fork it. You can improve on it. You can do whatever you'd like. Just please keep this alive if i saw i went to their github and there were already like 20 or something uh forks Mm -hmm. so yeah someone get on it because it it does work and it does work really well so even uh, you look at it oh it's discontinued it works it actually does work this is one of the biggest problems with (laughs) open source software man if this is closed source uh the it would it would have been able to like uh, never get updated again and fall into disrepair and no one be able to use it. That's so well, much more awesome than. That, <laughs> well, it would be integrated so deeply into people's workflows that yeah, I have to run like Windows Seven in a VM so I could like do pass for Seven was... Sweet or DOS. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't know if DOS has ex- GameCube controller support. Maybe man, it, flight stick for the uh, yeah, Gravis no. Ultrasound. Yeah. Well, 
uh, yeah. DOSBox uh, supports SDL too, so... Well, no, no, it's 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 DOSBox <laughs> staging. OG DOSBox don't give a fuck. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, like like Ben said, the source is fully open and it always has been, so mm. people are already forking it. Ho hopefully they can figure out whose repo it's actually going to exist under so that there's not like seven competing forks. This is yes. the thing, um, I want to see it happen, and if you want to make me extremely happy, uh, and maybe even make up for the Mateus touch, we need support for the <laughs> Nintendo PowerPad overlay. This yes. is critical. Also, and we're 64 the Retro Spy controller. Uh, apparently, there was a bit of an issue with the overlay, so if you could fix that bug, that'd be great too. And so, po some, uh, possibly and sandwich. Also, DDR pads. <laughs> yeah. DDR sandwich. I does it have some potato over USB support? All right. Anyways, hey, so oh, dude, what you're about to talk about next? No one's confused or conflated or b misreported on the internet. Absolutely, oh, absolutely, oh, wow. absolutely uh, not. <laughs> and we're totally not going to get any of it wrong too, because we are perfect sources of information, yeah. you guys. Oh my God, this is from Steve. No, not that Steve. Some other Steve other who works Steve. for Microsoft. Um. So yeah, DirectX 12 is coming to Linux. Uh that's the that's the headline. But we get we gotta I, I gotta be the fun police. Woo woo woo. Um so what what is this and what isn't this? So the WSL now has a driver that allows for the exposing of a GPU device to the Windows subsystem for Linux, which allows Microsoft to get direct access to the GPU hardware and therefore start working on a headless DirectX 12 implementation. Uh right now it seems to be targeted mostly at GP GPU stuff, so machine learning, uh, analytics, natural language processing. But based on some compositor news we're gonna talk about a little later. Um, it looks like they're also going to be moving towards graphical processing stuff. So my theory about this is Microsoft has been cautiously eyeing uh, the developments of uh, VKD3D and uh, DxVix, and they're like, hey, we don't like people implementing our API without our say-so, and we can't really say anything about it. But what we can do is we can actually provide some kind of native support for it. Um, they also, also, I like this little thing they have buried in the article. We're still exploring how to best support Vulkan and WSL, and we'll show, share more details in the future, which means they're going to ignore it. Um, but you know what? But, you know what? what? Okay, I want your comments on this, though, because I read yeah. this. This came out earlier this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit later, about 20 seconds after that, uh, Microsoft shows up and be like, yo, so we're working on this Wayland compositor, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, that, and that. And so what that's doing is uh, feeds into my next point, which it really does look like Microsoft is trying to continue their positioning Windows as, oh, well, you'll run Linux on your servers, but you use Windows to actually develop the software. Um, so that that's what the WSL is for. That's what uh, the DirectX implementation here is for. Uh, and that's what their ability to export, they're, they're positioning themselves so that you can develop Linux binaries under Windows. And are we going to see a proper DX12 implementation running on Linux for general consumption that, you know, mm. games can target? Maybe, probably. It might it might be something that happens. We've seen it done via third party for uh, D3D9 on Mesa forever ago. And Microsoft is making, does have a fork currently of Mesa that they are working on for this composite. Mm -hmm. so so what what the future holds, I don't know. I, I genuinely think this isn't going to bring a bunch of games to Linux. What this is doing is this is nipping Valve in the bud. They're saying, hey, we're not going to let you implement our operating system better than we are. Mm. Fuck off. <laughs> a, too late. B, I'm thinking about this from Microsoft uh, transitioning uh, slow as they are when they're doing it is turning into a services company. I'm like, hey, man, we want to. We want to be on everything up to and including. Also, I'm like, hey, man, somewhere in Microsoft, since, since we're going to do this, you know, if we just adopted this back in, you know, let's get our beak wet. But there's an ecosystem that'll take care of most of the security kernel and stuff. It's called Linux, man. We could just run everything on that. But let's go ahead and get some compatibility tools. Let's just start working on that. See how that's going to let's see what it tastes like. The 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 other advantage that from Microsoft's perspective is well at least if if people aren't buying their software they're at least using their standard and micro, micro, Vul, Vulkan is open oh, Vulkan is mm -hmm. run by committee uh, you have AMD mm -hmm. and Nvidia and Microsoft and what who every, everyone everyone and their dog coming in there Microsoft can basically say this is our playground this is our sandbox fuck you if you don't like what you're doing we're gonna try and use our position to muscle in as the standard well that, and they tried that 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 was modus operandi for Microsoft for twenty years man and it was like Okay, yeah. we're going to release the thing, and it, we're just going to buy the market adoption until that happens. This was the first time that they genuinely got ran into a fuck wall with DX12, it's thing, and but Vulcan's open. No, no, use what we got, and everyone's like, nah, 
Well, except everyone, for Apple. Apple's like, give me another glue stick and metal. Mm. Well, and, 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 and then Valve's like, hey, you know, we could probably get this DX12 stuff working in Vulkan anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. I, again, if, if Microsoft can't control the software, at least they can try to control the standard. And it's too late for DX12. I mean, there, there's some diehard Windows is like DX12, because even with like, how long was it before DX12 even worked on anything but Windows 10, which everyone was like, I can't use that for my games. I mean, outside of World of Warcraft, it never did. And yeah. uh, they made the stupid mistake of having uh, two actual uh, GPU pipelines, one for Windows 10 on the desktop and the other one for the Xbox One. So you still had to make two different versions of your game instead of what you do with Vulkan, which is you have the one graphical pipeline that the driver on whatever system you happen to be running goes, oh, that's Vulkan, I speak that, gimme. Nope. <laughs> Yeah. So well, bring back yeah. Glide. Glide but, but we but we gotta watch out for DX thirteen. It's coming, you guys, and it's gonna be fully oh, yeah. native on Linux. Is it gonna be wearing a hockey mask? <laughs> yes. It it it, 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 it it is gonna take a machete to your Linux system. Danny Treasure, what have you done? You've betrayed us all. Danny Betrayjo? Betrayjo. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Betrayjo. <laughs> with a lightsaber. All right. <sighs> Coming up next, I guess we're throwing chairs at golf with your friends. Dolph with your friends. Hashtag Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren with your friends. Player two can beat Grace Jones. Hold on to your diverse penises. It's the chair position where uh, the accused must survive I'll trial. Try again. Keep going though. Uh, we're gonna watch it again. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome back to the. Yeah, I, I forget. I forget what I was saying now. Up. Well. Yeah, we're, throw we're throwing chairs at uh, Golf With Your Friends from Blacklight Interactive. It's done in Unity. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks now. It'll be 15 bucks later, so grab it soon. What is it? Why have friends if not to play golf with your friends? Nothing is out of bounds as you except for the out of bounds as you take on <laughs> courses filled with fast-paced, exciting, Lava. simultaneous mini golf <laughs> for up to 12 players. <laughs> this has been in so many bundles. This has been on sale so many times. We mm -hmm. have a copy from forever ago. Um, mm -hmm. So let's get into it on De Bois. How does that work? Mm -hmm. it depends if this button works. Hey, is it, look at is that. it the diverse penis? <laughs> no, this was just this feature because at this point I just got lazy. I'm like, fuck it, this is good in text. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, over here on Debian testing, which I'm currently running, uh, kernel 5.6 and a 1920 X Red Ripper, 32 gigs of RAM, and a little 2060 video card. It's adorable. Works out of the box, man. Uh, 1080p, 60 on high, and uh, even on the worms level, which uh, traditionally just chugged pretty hard. But I did see the occasional graphical glitch with OpenGL, but surprisingly, it runs very well with Proton. Uh, keyboard and gerbil, Xclone, all that worked out of the box. That's good to see. That's kind of brilliant. And uh, let's see, what do we got? Okay, fun. Let's talk about it. It's a fuck around game. You know what it is 100%. It's putt putt. That's the delivery method for fucking around in a game. It's a mixture of skill, RNG, and jetpacks that determines who's going to put the ball in its home, which it decidedly is against. Playing in forever alone mode, uh, you can kill, kill a little bit of time, a few hours, uh, on and off. I mean, it's probably nothing you're going to marathon, but the best thing for forever alone mode, you can use that to practice for like the real fun, which is multiplayer. We've established that this is a party game. You should treat it as such if you're buying it. Half the fun definitely comes from watching the screw-ups your teammates and just giving them absolute shit constantly, you know, an un unending stream of nonsense. And it does keep score, but more often than not, you're going to be happy with whatever bullshit participation trophy you get from just finishing the damn level. I mean, let's be real, but at the end of the day, man, you know, it, it's well done. They, they, they've managed to iron out most of the unintended jank that to me was the charm of this game back in the day but they've added just enough back to it intentionally to where it still works out man and you know definitely with the latest levels with the worms levels the um new escapist. zealand levels the escapist big big step up in quality so you know it's 10 bucks just go ahead and fucking buy it man um if you don't, it'll probably be in a bundle in like two days anyway. So it's solid. And I don't think I'm going to be the only one to do this, but I'll say check it out. 
Well, uh, on Fedora 32, 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080Ti, one, once upon a time back in early access, you had to like force OpenGL for the game to launch. You, go, you don't got to do that anymore. But I found when the selection window for that spawns, it spawns behind the launching game window in Steam. So you can't just click on it right uh -huh. away, which is a little poo. Uh, it holds a solid 60 at UHD when I was testing it, uh, although it will eat poo every few seconds, every so often. Um, and controls, yeah, it's click, click and drag the game that's that's how you control the balls so you know what here's the thing i hate did you try it with a controller at any point i did not I surprisingly think. useful for just like leaning back like that that doesn't surprise me at all um but yeah i i hate golf in pretty much every form to the point of violence. So needless to say, the few times I played this while I was in early access, it did nothing to win me over. But you know, this game hit a 1.0, so I decided I'd take a chance and try it out again. And it plays like every other mini golf or pool game I've ever played. And after about nine holes on the default map, I said, yep, still hate it. And I closed the game and I walked away and I'm like, wait a second, I should probably try out the escapist map because that's their new feature and I should have something to talk about. So after about six holes, I realized, yeah, I still hate this game. So, uh, Blacklight, congrats on the 1.0. You worked hard. You got it out early access. Fuck this game and fuck you guys. One chair. <laughs> <laughs> so that was completely unsurprising. But Fair yeah, no, on, <laughs> on the uh, Friday stream, which is uh, if you're watching the video version, that's what you're watching right now. Uh, it mostly held 144 FERPs at 2560 by 1440. So it is very much running Unity. Um, there was just one level where it ate all of the poop, like literally all of it. It came the um, the frame rate. Not only did it come down to like 30 something as frame times were all over the place. It was bad. It was not a good time. But moving the camera around, uh, you'll probably have noticed that if you're watching the video. But it entire light maps, they just vanish. Uh, there's a bunch of Zed fighting uh, textures in more than one level uh, that we played through. I do like whenever you start a level, there's a teeny tiny little HUD uh, icon that shows you where the flag is, which I felt was a very, very, very nice addition to uh, how the game previously just did it, which was it spawned you in the level and said, have it, fucko. Uh, but yeah, was it fun though? Well, it's pure multiplayer madness, and every modifier is designed specifically uh, to get on Jordan's nerves. Uh, hey. Playing it with <laughs> playing it with randos on the inter, uh, on the interwebs does this game a bit of a disservice. And you know, let's be honest, this is meant for people to get together in a voice chat and just have at. And in that respect, the technical shortcomings actually help with the general sense of, I guess, nonsense. Really? Because the performance dips, they, those were not appreciated at all. But having people just riff on how broken the light maps are and the camera, how janky it is, it's it can be very funny. What do you uh, mean, I don't... jank? <laughs> just go watch that As, as we just witnessed it, seize the hell out. <laughs> Which yeah. we, we come to find out that, oh, you hit the C button and you have free cam. Because it... Yeah, we didn't know that. <laughs> to their credit, that that's them admitting their camera's fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's basically saying, all right, you have control of the camera because we can't do it. Um, but yeah, I don't really play golf IRL or mini golf uh, at all, so I can't really comment on the accuracy of the simulation that's happening, but I can say that the base mechanics are sound enough that you can actually get through a complete course and spend the whole time just riffing on how bro broken and how janky it is. So as far as I'm concerned, it gets three chairs because of the multiplayer aspect. If you're playing it in forever lone mode or against randos on the internet, <laughs> No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, I, I, I will give this game a big no. It's a, I think it's fun. They got a level creator, so if you wanted to make a, like a level that was just a slope where it couldn't go anywhere but in the hole for Jordan, so it would make 18 of those. <laughs> I'd, st I'd, st I'd still fuck it up. I would still fuck it up. I don't know, man. I, it's like I, don't, I, don't. I, I imagine like young Jordan was somehow attacked by a puppet, of course. 
Uh, no, I attacked someone at a putt butt course. That'll do it. That'll, that'll, um, that'll make you not like video games. All right, we got to get out of here. Uh, we got coming up next, we got we got it's Weebmas. Happy day! We get to go uwu and owo when we get our presents. And I guess uh, that particular uh, chair acquisition was uh, not news to anyone. Fuck, but I hey. just thought of something. Um, <laughs> like, real talk. What sounds do moose make? They moo. They moo? Yeah, they straight up moo. Fuck me. All right. Sorry, Bitcher, go ahead. Okay, moose. It makes sense now. But uh, if you'd like to let us know about your own semantic uh, trivia, you can do so. You can go to LinuxGameCast.com, you hit the contact button, and you spill your dictionary right there on the forum that... uh, that was not expecting it. But (laughs) if you're a game developer, and after seeing that, um chair acquisition you'd like to you still would like us to have a look at your game make sure you read the uh, big bold letters yeah because if you don't we're just gonna mock you so yeah no that's um this week we have uh, the one bit of how did you uh, manage to get so inebriated between like a three minute break it's called power blackouts. Power um, blackouts. You, should be, you, should, you should be familiar with it at this point. He's so advanced, he's still working through it. <laughs> it's yeah, warm. It, it's the alcohol and the warmth. It's it's getting to well, my brain. Well, what we don't see is there's a tube that's like has an oil drip from yeah. like, but it's like beer into his like navel. He's listen, just like now, popped it open. Listen, listen, we better back off or he's going to use the Mateus touch. Yeah, no, let's not kill it yet. Uh, but no, uh, Kylitix actually decided to bring Christmas a bit early. Ho, uh, ho, <laughs> moo. Or weep must, I weep guess. It, it, it's, it's ho, 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 desu. Dude, okay, yeah. they, they have, can they have like a weeb beef? Is it like a... Uh, there's Shit, I can't an entire a anime that. show about cooking food wars it's actually not bad Potato. no 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 it's, it's like se- it's it, it it's sexy beef is what it is <laughs> yes isn't there like but, the, uh, like fatty massaged beef like the what's it like called? the way the wagyu yeah but it's like waymo uh, it's a car i mean it's, it's self-driving <laughs> beef that's what i'm getting at self-driving beef coming it's soon just a cow all right okay <laughs> So, uh, Kylinix says, uh, Walk one, LGC. Uh, thought you, uh, though you may deny it, uh, I've been able to read between the lines and determine that you're all secretly living that weeb life. I believe that the sooner, the sooner you acknowledge, uh, your anime affinity, the sooner you will heal your dark souls. I see what you did there. Now, touch the darkness within you mm. and take nourishment from Gaben's sovereignlessness. <laughs> Um, souls. Mm. Silliness aside, congrats on 400 plus episodes. Looking forward to the next 400 plus. Give thanks. Thank you, Kyle Linux, because <laughs> Arigato, <laughs> you got us all <laughs> games. <laughs> yes. See, I was talking about last night, I think before we went live, Um, I, I was explaining to Pedro that Aldius loves me more than he loved him, because he got... <laughs> A copy. Uh, a code vein showed up because that was yeah. definitely a, a Windows game. B. I'm not dropping sixty bucks on no fucking Windows game. And but D is like, yeah, I really want to fucking play. I, I want to live that vegetarian tree eating vampire <laughs> lifestyle with a Dark Souls ish type thing to it. Because it's that magical level of like just souls enough to where I can tolerate it, but also it's got the weep thing going on. What, wasn't your first thought when you fired that up? I was like, man, somebody filed the numbers off near on this intro screen anyway. <laughs> um, uh, no, uh, near is more, you know, devil may cry ye with the spectacle combat because you you twirl around your weapons and Pager's you throw them and you, you just can't smash things. your way through this game. You totally can fucking just smash your, you there's can. an entire, just, you, you just smash can. class. <laughs> M- mash square for success. But no, um, Catalytics also threw in, I was like, hey, oh, oh, what's this code? I had no fuck all idea what it was because you were being <laughs> mysterious and I'm thick um, with an extra moose. 
So I punched that into Steam and it seems like, yay, you've just activated more code vein. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you just got all the DLC. Yay. You got, you, you got veined. I got double veined. Yeah, no, seriously. Thank you, Kyolytix, because yeah, that was code vein with all of the DLC. It's like, whoo. Also, you've inflicted. <laughs> I'll be, I, I'm between Skyrim job and Code Vein. Thanks, get all this. Uh, and now I have the extra DLC to fucking um, Kyletics. Thank you. I'm good until like 2023, man, because it takes me months <laughs> to get through like some basic bitch four hour games as far as time management. Pedro, Pedro's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 Let's I'll just say if I wasn't doing this right now, I'd be playing Code Vein. Mm hmm. I'll, I'll also Kyle Linux to get me Jet Set Radio, so I guess I'll stream it because I've never played it. It's like skate, roller skating, graffiti, something or other. I keep forgetting that you're a baby. You didn't have the Dreamcast. I my cousin had the Dreamcast. Uh, I didn't get to play. It. Wouldn't let you touch it. <laughs> you know, smart boy. Um, <laughs> that's cool, man. All right. Um, uh, that that's a bombshell. Yeah, no, the all of you are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pedro's just like, I, I'm just fucking Pedro's like, hurry and get done. I'll go back and play some more code and with weeb vegetarian yeah. tree eating vampire <laughs> shit. This I'm not I'm I'm not even like being we, 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 vegetarian vampires. Dude. Vegetarian vegetarian vampires. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time with it. Alright. Okay. On that bomb show. On that weeb show. I'm gonna double tap. I'm gonna double tap my deke the last time tonight um i'm not getting paid for that give me some money stream deke uh hey if you want to get in touch with me i'm at vin stone on twitter that's where i hang out i do the social media thing always you can hit me up in irc at uh irc.freedom.net lgc what's it lgc lgc weekly i'm in there hanging out in discord and uh mass.linuxteamcast.com that's uh i post shit there usually like stuff that it, it, it's it's less filtered. It's not as good as Natu just going on rage post, but you know, <laughs> some of that. My name is Jordan Spung, and I am trapped in the void. I'm blinking. Please send help. You can send help by following me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or on Mastodon. I'm Frojo at or Mastodon Linux. Frojo Mastodon Linux. Twitter. Google Plus. That's Rex. Sounds legit. I am Pedro Mateos. You can find me at unaccounted4 on Twitter or at unaccounted4 <laughs> with the actual number 4 on mass.linuxgamecast.com. What for about bleed the on me? Twice a year I go there. <laughs> That's my email address. That's you like my throwaway you know, mail account. Just, uh, roll the f <laughs> credits. <laughs> when you're not strong, drip, drip, drip. I'll be your friend. Someone I'll help you carry on. Upon. Yeah, All so right. For it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to bleed on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's oh, a song about being a tampon. Envelope. I saw the eight rise up in me. Neil I'm gonna thank Artharian of leaves <laughs> and uh, empty in the atomic ass Mike G. Barbrampt, Aldius, Mackie, Kaplow. Well, Kaplow's already up there. Ah. Uh, Scoots, uh, Frostclaw, <laughs> Drummer, and Lutris. And leave request, and Mr. Fox Dog, Mr. Fox Dog, Mr. Horse David S. Uh, the you, you bled too much. <laughs> you bled too deep. Right, right, and there's no vampires to Jack drink my blood because they're all vegans. Nine bullets of intercell, Greg. Kylitix cast again, inflicting the vegetarian vampire tree eating nightmares. Oh, on us. yeah. Thank you again. Yeah, I think. Also, uh, Michael KCW, Master Dad, the other Jordan, Evandros, Thomas Bram, Steve, Rohit N, Gonzo 2000, I don't know. Paul, Douglas, we got Steven, Simka, Bram, the Atomic, or uh, the Admiral JT. <laughs> Dodger, OX4D <laughs> underscore coma, and Lucid Links. Lucid Links! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Silence! Deeks. Silence! Your mom. Silence. Five dudes. <laughs>